Hi, it's Samuel Guy Coding here, and uh, we're going to do an unboxing today. The uh, laser that I ordered from my mostly printed CNC machine has finally arrived. Hopefully it's not dead on arrival. I ordered it from Amazon. It was a Sunwin 3-watt uh, laser. I paid $158 on it. Um, on back here, where, or on front here, where they've declared the, uh, the value um, for... for um, Customs they listed $38, which is probably <laughs> more of what it's worth, right? But <clears throat> the package is pretty crumply, and uh, you know, it's like it's had a rough ride overseas. It took uh, let's find the camera here, it took uh, uh, about a month, about two weeks longer than they had estimated for it to show up. So I've got my personal information blocked out here, but we'll take some close up pictures of the information on here and we'll take a look at that. But <clears throat> let's see if anything survived in here. So let's uh, flip it over to the front. You can see it, it looks like there's a lot of dirt on here and stuff that uh, scrapes and stuff. It's, it's had a rough trip. I don't hear anything rattling, so that's possibly a good uh, good indication. Let me check, make sure we're on camera there. And I'm gonna open up this package right here. So this is a 3 watt laser. I should be able to do some good engraving with this. Hopefully I can actually turn the power down a little bit. Oh, it's bubble wrapped for sure. And nothing else in the envelope. It's empty in there. Lots well, of assorted bubble wrap. Let's see if I can figure out where this comes from. This big old piece of tape there. And we're just going to cut that tape. It's a heavy duty. Yeah. Hopefully it's representative of the good stuff inside, right? Uh, do some unrolling here. And uh, oops, on camera there. Ooh, I see Chinese lettering. Oh, that's in another bag. We'll set that aside. And what do we have here? Anything I can read? It's a uh, 1SW00510. I think it said that on the packaging on the envelope too, so hopefully that's the right kind. Alright. And there we are. We've got some packing foam to protect it. And we've got another piece of packing foam. And look, it's in an anti static bag. Wonderful. Now, uh, as uh, in the description, there was no mention of a power supply with this, uh, just the uh, just the laser itself. So we're going to go ahead and uh, it's a sealed it is, so we're going to open her up like that. And get in here and get my fingers to work. Doesn't smell like much. All right, there it is. That's pretty heavy. It's got quite a long cord here. Now, here's the uh, little connector cord for a for a power supply that goes in there. <coughs> but I think we're just going to bypass this board entirely. I don't think it is anything other than a little connector board. So it's just got a a connector for the 12 volt power supply. Looks like a maybe a three pin fan connector here. <clears throat> oh, of course it is, because it connects to the uh, connects to the uh, uh, laser right there. And then it looks like we have four pins uh, coming out here. We got uh, TTL says there uh, S. Minus plus minus, so that must be the TTL signal on top. But as we can see on the board here too, I believe. Now, if we look carefully, the uh, is silk screened on there. Uh, the black is ground, the red is positive, and the yellow is the uh, PWM signal. So there you are, nice little module. It's got uh, looks like it's got a lens in there. Let's uh, unscrew that once and see what happens. Watch the whole thing fall apart. Right? See if there's a little cartridge in there for the lens, or uh, it was a one-piece job. 
Oop, there's a spring. Don't let the spring pop out. No, there's definitely a little lens in there. Is it glass? Is it plastic? I, I don't know. Uh, this front side has had a little bit of a rough time and it's scuffed a little bit, but we'll pop that guy back in there with the spring in place. Alright, there we go. It's pretty cool because it's winter here in Minnesota, of course, and it sat in the uh, mailbox just a little bit. I really, really expected it to be dropped off the door, but uh, you know, it's that season. They're, they're in a hurry. <clears throat> uh, it's got a pretty hefty looking fan on the back here, which is good. Uh, from the pictures online, I wasn't sure if it was a short fan and just a, an extension, but it looks like it's a, a, actually a pretty deep fan there. It's held down by two screws. Then the power supply, or the, uh, the, uh, the constant current board is right here, and it says right down there, as opposed to the pictures online, it says 3 watts instead of 7 watts. They had the pictures for the wrong device on there. And that seems to be uh, sucked down against the heat sink. Hopefully that's some sort of a heat transfer <coughs> um, foam on there. I don't know. Hopefully. I assume that'll get warm. And the other interesting thing is that if you look at it head on, let's see if I can line this up with the camera. But you can see through there and that that's the path the earth flow takes. And I was wondering about that, but I couldn't, I couldn't find a picture online showing that. So yes, it's, uh, there's some fins in there, <coughs> and uh, of course the fan in back, and several fins on the outside here. And that's a, a nice length of wire, I think. Let's see if I've got uh, a measuring tool here of some sort. So, going across here, we have uh, just about 50 millimeters, not quite. And for height, and it's about the same. We'll call it 50 millimeters. So let's go ahead and grab the length here. It's uh, just about 100 millimeters at 98 millimeters, including the fan. And this little guy, it looks like it has uh, no active components on it. So I don't think there's any reason we can't just plug right into the uh, to the end here. It's got a little interesting little like uh, a felt tip marker mark right there. Um, And let's see any other marks on the uh, adjustment here. I think maybe that was a uh, given focal test or something that they had done. And before we start powering that guy up, of course, we have to have our funky safety glasses here for the laser. So we'll just slip those on. They fit nicely over the top of my lenses, although I can't really see anything through them. All right, so there we have it. I'm going to snap some close-ups of some things here, and then we'll go ahead and see if we can power this thing up for a test run. All right, we're going to give it a power-up test here. Place your bets uh, dead on arrival, or will it work? So I'm going to have to use this little connector here on the, the little adapter board because I don't have any appropriate uh, female fan connectors. It's easy to see on here where I'm going to be connecting others uh, on these little pins. Yeah, this one, top one is signal, then it goes plus, minus, plus. And I've checked on the back here, the foils go to the wires as you would expect. The red is plus, <clears throat> the ground is minus, and the yellow is the signal, which we're going to leave open. And supposedly that will still turn on the laser. We'll find out. So I've cobbled up some really wimpy little, uh, you know, Arduino uh, uh, DuPont connectors here. We're going to plug on there, and hopefully that'll be enough just to get her going. And check this with a voltmeter. And this ground one is going to connect there to the ground. 
and that says ground and this one says plus 12 volt and that's what I read off it. I'm going to connect that to the plus over here just like that and we should be ready to go. I suppose I should put the safety glasses on. I've got kind of a bored target back there. Here goes nothing. Hey, we got a laser light out there. Look at that. It's way out of focus. Oh, but I can smell wood burning. Whoa! <laughs> yes siree, I can smell wood burning already. And it's way out of focus. So, uh, let's see, I was hoping to get it so far out of focus that maybe we couldn't burn anything. And it's, it's not even warm to the touch right now. The looks like power transistors or regulators are not even warm on, on the top there. So it's a little bit further out of focus. Let's go ahead and give it another try. Now it's really out of focus. So that should be good. Hopefully that won't burn anything back there. <clears throat> I'll just let it run for a few seconds here. So I guess it's not dead on arrival. The question is how long will it last? The fan is going at a good clip. It's pushing air down. Alright, let's try something else here. In theory, you now, the, if uh, being that uh, TTL signal is floating high here, um, if we, the signal, if we jumper the signal to ground, let's see if I can get that, which conveniently we have another, another uh, connector here for minus. Let's jumper that signal and see if we can get that LED, uh, the, the laser to go off. All right, I've got a little jumper on here. I put it on the ground signal, extra ground uh, minus uh, signal on the little uh, connector card here. <clears throat> and unfortunately, all I have is a uh, female to male. So we'll use that to touch that signal and take it to ground and make sure that the LED, or rather the laser turns off. So safety glasses on. I'll we'll go ahead and power that guy up again. And now with my safety glasses on, we'll see if I can see this little pin. Yeah, if I, if I ground it out, it goes off. Let's see how this feels here. Is it getting warm at all? Not at all. Let's go ahead and turn it off for a second. Let's check in front here. Is this is that warming up? No. That doesn't seem to be warming up either. How about on top here? Oh, nothing seems to be getting warm up there either. So, that's pretty darn cool. So let's uh, focus it down a little bit here. We'll just take a guess because uh, I'm not going to focus it while it's on. And then we're just going to pop it on for a second. Pop it off. Let's see if we can get that smaller out there. That's uh, smaller, I think. Go around a little more. Oh yeah, look at that. It immediately started burning that wood back there. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, like that took no time at all. So let's zoom in. And I move the target over a little bit. Let's see if we can get this guy to move for me. And I can smell the wood burning already. Yeah, definitely we're going to have to put a vent outside. The um, wife is not going to put up with this. And one more time, we're just going to take a quick shot here. Let's try to move it over a little bit. Well, it doesn't take any time at all. So that big spot is that first one that we burned with the uh, laser out of focus. And there's uh, some additional small ones that we burned. And I'll take some close-up pictures of that. It's amazing how much uh, damage that can do so quickly. You know, it doesn't look like we still have it focused down to a perfect point yet. Well, let's tighten it down some more. Let's take another punch at it here. Now it seems like that got bigger. Let's 
So what I think we're going to have to do is uh, connect it up so that we can control the brightness of the laser and then uh, see if we can tell what's happening there uh, focus-wise. So I'm going to disconnect this so that things don't light on fire by accidentally somebody pushing the button. So I printed up uh, this little thingy off of Thingiverse here that's supposed to help uh, save your fingers from, from getting burned, but apparently that one's too big. We're going to have to size that down. I was hoping that would fit. But we'll size that down a bit and make it fit and, and put up a, a, a remix of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, this unboxing video and initial testing of the 3 watt laser from uh, Sunwind. Uh, it actually seems to work. It's quite a heavy little product. Uh, things worked the first time and uh, hopefully they'll continue to work and we'll see how things go.